Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. This is the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza and I'm joined today by Senator Mark Desaunier. Good to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. It's Jaime. been a very tough uh, time for you guys there in Sacramento at the Capitol, trying to figure out how we're going to balance our budget and get things back on track. Uh, what's, what's the future look like, I guess, for Californians? Well, we're really at a, a crucial moment uh, here in California. Of course, the whole world is under this kind of pressure. We're, as we all know, suffering from the worst global recession in our lifetimes. We, a lot of us never thought that this would see this. So um, we're not an island. We're not alone. But we have unique challenges in California. And we're really at a crucial period here um, in Sacramento for the state of California for its future. I'm going to go back a, a little ways now. And I'm trying to think back to the state of the state that the governor issued here. And he was really you know, reaching out and saying, come on, guys, on both sides of the aisle, let's work together. But so far, it seems like there's been a lot of friction and, and I haven't seen much of that smoothing over. Well, Jerry Brown has been amazing in terms of being accessible, being very forthright with all of us, Democrats and Republicans. Um, but his experience is from an earlier time when um, people were driven less by ideological positions. Um, as somebody who was a Republican for many years and has been a Democrat for uh, over a decade, um, my general feeling is that uh, the Republican Party has become more conservative. I know that sounds partisan, but it's <laughs> just my perception, um, having been a Republican and been a Democrat. It's hard, and, but he's trying very hard to get everybody to come and think for the greater good. I, I was talking to, to uh, one, of your, one of your fellow lawmakers last month and was comparing the two governors, and, and you, you, you hit it on the head here that this governor compared to Mr. Schwarzenegger, a lot more accessible, a, a lot more let's work together they're not so scripted, if I may. No, they're very different. We're all products of our experience. Uh, Governor Schwarzenegger was a showman. He was very good at that. Um, but he was used to living in a fairly insular world, um, my belief. And Jerry Brown is clearly not that way. He doesn't work that way emotionally or mentally. He likes to get out and talk to people. Um, he's very gifted at it. But he's been challenged in this environment. He has yet to be able to sort of break through and get everybody to agree. Do you think he's surprised by that? Do you yes, think I, he thought it was that difficult? No, I don't. I think um, I think he's used to his previous experience and also his experience in local government in Oakland. It was easier to work through people. Of course, in Oakland and the Bay Area, we're largely all Democratic um, elected officials at the local level and the state and federal level. It's It's been a surprise for him, I'm sure. Do you think that the Republicans as a whole are trying more so now to stick to their guns rather than before? just to prove a point that says, okay, you, we have a Democratic governor in place now, but we're not going to move and you're not going to control us. Not necessarily we think we might agree with you, but we don't want to make it appear like we do. You know, I don't know. I, I, on my own experience, one of the reasons I switched and stopped being a Republican was it was becoming more and more conservative. And I'm more of a moderate on some things I'm liberal and some things I'm conservative. That's why I left. Um, I think there are a lot of terrific people up here or members who have R after their name, but they're stuck. They're stuck mm -hmm. in a position where if they vote, even to let the voters vote on taxes that currently exist just to extend them, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how difficult things are because um, their constituent groups are adamantly opposed to even the discussion. I would say, from what we've heard from the voters, this doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for you guys. No, I mean, because I think the voters are expecting something different from Sacramento, and they're, not, they're getting more of the same. You know, Jefferson said to be an American politician, you had to practice the art of compromise. And that's what the, the electorate expects us to do. They expect us to be uh, statesmanlike and compromise for the greater good. And uh, it's, I believe we've done that on our side of the aisle. If we have to do more, we'll do it. But hopefully, we'll get four votes on the other side. Senator Mark Desaunier, thank you so much. And thank you at home for watching Time Warner Cable's local edition, The Sacramento Report. And remember, you can always watch this interview as well as other interviews by going to My Government On Demand. You'll find that on Channel One.